Hi friends. Welcome to our channel, The Dental Educators. In the previous two lectures, we discussed about the different type of tooth thumping system that was the Palmer Notation System and the Universal Notation System. In today's lecture, we will be discussing about the third type of timbering system which is referred as Vacuation Dentary Internationally or you can also refer to it as FDI system. So there were three basic tooth numbering systems which are of key importance. So we already discussed about the first two ones. Now we will be focusing over the Federation Dentary International and we will see how do we number the teeth using this type of numbering system. This is the most commonly used system nowadays in various countries. So, talking about the FDI system, for the deciduous deletion, we use a two-digit system, that is the FDI system. Basically, the FDI system is a two-digit for both for the deciduous dentition as well and for the permanent dentition as well. It was first adopted by the WHO, the World Health Organization, and later on it was also accepted by other organizations such as IADR. So what does the two-digit system represent? In the two-digit system, the first digit basically indicates the quadrant, whereas the second digit indicates the tooth number in the quadrant. So in the deciduous dentition, as we already know, that we have five teeth that is counting from one to five from each of the quadrant so we will be counting all of the teeth from one to five in each quadrant from the midline towards the distal aspect that is from the central incisor to the second deciduous molar whereas if we talk about the first digit the first digit indicates always the quadrant as per the FDI numbering system but the quadrants for the deciduous dentition are counted from five to eight we count 1 to 4 for the permanent dentition and then the 5 to 8 numbers are given for the deciduous dentition. So let's go through the diagrammatic presentation. So if we see here, the most important thing is the quadrant number to mention the tooth as per FDI numbering system. So we can see we have written as 5, the digit 5 represents that it is the maxillary right quadrant whereas the second digit that is numbered as 1 we present that it is the maxillary central incisor so if we write 5 1 it means maxillary central incisor of the right quadrant then for the next tooth we write as 5 2 the 5 represents again the maxillary right quadrant whereas the second represents that it is the second tooth from the midline that is the lateral incisor so lateral incisor of the maxillary right quadrant will be mentioned as 5 2 now going on to the third tooth from the midline for the maxillary right quadrant we will write as 5 3 which represents the 5 represents basically the maxillary right quadrant and the second digit is representing that it's the third tooth from the midline that is the canine now the fourth tooth in the maxillary right quadrant will be written as 5 4 so the first digit 5 basically represent that it's the maxillary right quadrant and the 4 basically represent that it's the deciduous first molar of the maxillary right quadrant so for, for that respective tooth we will write the digit 5 4 then 5 5 represents the second deciduous molar of the maxillary right quadrant whereas again the first digit as we discussed earlier represents the quadrant number that is the maxillary right quadrant and the second digit is representing that it's the second deciduous molar of, of the maxillary right quadrant now we will see again same thing happening for the next quadrant that is the maxillary left quadrant so the same thing is happening here just the most important thing which happened is that the quadrant number has changed so the maxillary right quadrant is numbered as 5 whereas the maxillary left quadrant is numbered as 6 
so we can see here again we are marking the teeth from the midline towards the distal aspect this arrow represents that thing so if we see the counting of the teeth we can see clearly what do they mean 6 1 means that the tooth in the maxillary left quadrant the 6 represents that and then number 1 basically represents the central incisor in the maxillary left quadrant so we mention it as 6 1 then 6 2 represents that maxillary left quadrant second tooth from the midline that is the maxillary lateral incisor 6 3 represents that the left quadrant third tooth from the midline maxillary left quadrant third tooth is the canine whereas 6 4 as we know it represents the first deciduous molar and 6 5 represents the second deciduous molar it will happen the same way for the mandibular left quadrant, just one thing will be changed, that is the quadrant number, which is the first digit, will be replaced for the counting of the teeth. We can see here we have replaced the first digit and now we are mentioning it as 7 word 1 for the mandibular left quadrant, deciduous central incisor, 7 2 for the lateral incisor of the mandibular left quadrant, 7 3 for the canine of the mandibular left quadrant, 7 4 for the first molar. And 7 5 for the second molar. Now, the last quadrant is the mandibular right quadrant. We will number that quadrant as number 8 in the case of the deciduous dentition. So, the key important thing to memorize is that we count all of the quadrants in a clockwise direction. That is, on the patient, we count them in a clockwise direction if we are counting the teeth inside the mouth of the patient. If we are counting in our mouth, still we will count them in a clockwise direction, thinking that we ourselves are as a clock. Then we start to count the teeth from the midline. So in the mandibular right quadrant as well, we can see that we just change the first digit, that is the quadrant number, as the mandibular right quadrant is written as number 8. So we just change the first digit. And then we mention for the central incisor of the mandibular right quadrant as 8-1. 8-2 for the lateral incisor of the mandibular right quadrant. 8-3 for the canine of the mandibular right quadrant. 8-4 for the first deciduous molar of the right quadrant. And 8-5 for the second deciduous molar. Now let's go to the diagrammatic representation showing the FDI numbering system for each of the quadrant. So talking for the first quadrant is the maxillary right quadrant as we have discussed earlier that maxillary right quadrant is numbered as number 5. Okay. So now we again see we are counting the teeth from the midline. So the first tooth in the fifth quadrant is the central incisor from the midline. So that will be numbered as 5-1 because we always write down the quadrant number first and second digit is the tooth from the midline. Then you mention the lateral incisor of the maxillary right quadrant as 5-2 because this is the second tooth from the midline. Then 5-3 for the canine as it's the third tooth from the midline for the maxillary right quadrant. First deciduous molar as 5-4 as it is the fourth tooth from the midline. And second deciduous molar as 5-5 as it is the fifth tooth from the midline in the maxillary right quadrant. Now it goes within the same way for the maxillary left quadrant as well but just one thing is changed that is the first digit is changed because the maxillary left quadrant is represented as quadrant number 6. So now when we count the teeth from the midline we mention maxillary left central incisor as 6 1 because 6 is the digit for the maxillary left quadrant whereas the central incisor is the first tooth from the midline, so we write it as 6 1. Then the lateral incisor is the second tooth from the midline for the maxillary left quadrant, and we write it as 6 2. The canine is the third tooth from the midline, and the quadrant number is the maxillary left quadrant, so we write it as 6 3. 6 4 for the deciduous first molar, and 6 5 finally for the deciduous second molar. Now coming on to the third quadrant of the deciduous dentition the third quadrant is the mandibular left quadrant which is represented as number seven 
so you can see here we are counting the all the quadrants in a clockwise direction so again we will number the teeth from the midline towards the distal aspect so what do we do here for the seven quadrant we can see that we number the mandibular left central incisor as seven one because seven represents the quadrant number seven and one represents the tooth number one from the midline that is the mandibular central incisor of the left quadrant mandibular lateral incisor of the left quadrant is numbered as seven two the canine as seven three the first molar of mandibular left quadrant as seven four and finally the last molar as seven five that is the deciduous second molar of the mandibular left quadrant so always the first digit as we have been discussing is representing the quadrant number now finally coming on to the last quadrant that is the mandibular right quadrant again we will count the teeth from the midline towards the distal aspect but the mandibular right quadrant as it is given a number 8 so we will write the first digit as 8 to mention that it is the mandibular right quadrant then the second digit will be the tooth number which is from the midline which we will start to count so now you can see the first digit is 8 for the mandibular right quadrant and the second digit is number 1 for the deciduous central incisor of the right quadrant. Lateral incisor is numbered as 8-2. The canine is numbered as 8-3 for the mandibular right quadrant. The deciduous first molar as 8-4 for the mandibular right quadrant and finally the deciduous second molar as 8-5 of the mandibular right quadrant. So we know that the first digit is basically representing the quadrant number and the second digit basically represents the tooth number from the midline. Now let's go through the video illustration to make it more clear how do we count the teeth over the patients. Now when we see for the deciduous dentition we start to count the teeth for the maxillary arch and the mandibular arch respectively so the upper right quadrant is given as quadrant number five the upper left is given number six the lower left is marked as quadrant number seven whereas if we talk about the other last quadrant that is marked as quadrant number eight for the lower right hand side <coughs> So if we see that how we are counting the quadrants, we count them in a so-called clockwise direction in the so-called 5, 6, 7, 8. So it is like we are counting all of the quadrants in a clockwise direction starting from 5 then going 6 on the right, left, on the other side and 7 and 8. So we, after mentioning the quadrant number for each of the sides, that is of key importance. So we count the teeth from the midline for, for the upper right quadrant as I told you that we mark it as quadrant number 5. After marking it as quadrant number 5, when we start to count the teeth from the midline, so the first tooth from the midline is the central incisor, so we will write it as 5152 five, for the lateral incisor as it's of the first quadrant, 53 for the canine that's it's the third tooth from the midline, 5-4 for the first deciduous molar. Now the last tooth in this quadrant is the second molar that will be mentioned as 5-5. Five five. So in the maxillary left quadrant, we will mark it as quadrant number 6. So we will start mention first digit as 6 and then 1 for the central incisor, 6-2 for the lateral incisor. 6-3 for the canine in the maxillary left quadrant, 6-4 for the first deciduous molar and finally 6-5 for the second deciduous molar in the maxillary left quadrant. Now going on to the mandibular arch, let's see in a quick review that how do we count the teeth in the patient. So the left mandibular quadrant is numbered as number 7, we can see that and after mentioning the first digit that is the 7. We start to count the teeth from the midline that is the central incisor. We write it as 7-1 for the mandibular central incisor of the left quadrant. Then 7-2 because it is the second tooth from midline. 7-3 for the canine. 7-4 for the first deciduous molar. 7-5 for the second deciduous molar because that is the last tooth from the midline. 
now the lower right quadrant is numbered as number 8 as we have been discussing earlier so we will mention the first digit as 8 and central incisor is 1 so we call it as 8 1 8 2 for the lateral incisor 8 3 for the canine in the uh, in the right quadrant 8 4 for the deciduous first molar and finally the last will be mentioned as 8-5 for the deciduous second molar in the mandibular right quadrant. Now in the permanent dentition for the end numbering system, we count the teeth in a similar way that is in the two digit system uh, trend. But the thing which is different is the quadrant numbers will be changed in the case of the permanent dentition. In the deciduous dentition, if you could recall, we counted the teeth from uh, 1 to 5 from the midline and we made the quadrants from 5 to 8. Whereas in the case of the deciduous dentition, we count the quadrants from 1 to 4 rather than counting it from 5 to 8. And we are counting 8 teeth in each of the quadrant in the case of permanent dentition because in each quadrant we have 8 teeth in permanent dentition. Whereas in deciduous dentition, we were just counting 5 teeth because in deciduous dentition, we have 5 teeth in each of the quadrants. So let's see how we are mentioning all the tooth numbering for the permanent dentition as per FDI notation system. So going through the maxillary right quadrant, you can see we are doing the same two digit system. The first digit in which represents the quadrant number that is for the maxillary right quadrant. In the permanent dentition is mentioned as 1 whereas the second digit you can see it represents the first tooth from the midline that is the maxillary central incisor so 1 1 basically represent the permanent maxillary central incisor now 1 2 is representing the maxillary right quadrant and 2 is basically representing the second tooth from the midline so the maxillary right 2 means lateral incisor so the, the we have the one two is basically representing as maxillary right lateral incisor now one three the first digit represents maxillary right and three represents the third tooth from the midline that is the canine so we will call it as a maxillary right permanent canine now one four represents the quadrant the first digit that is basically the one represents the quadrant of permanent dentition whereas the second digit is representing the tooth number from the midline so we will say it maxillary right fourth tooth from the midline that is the first premolar and one five represents maxillary right uh, quadrant for permanent dentition and the fifth tooth from the midline is the second premolar one six represents the maxillary right permanent tooth first molar 6 is basically the first molar in the permanent dentition and 1 7 represents the maxillary right second permanent molar 1 8 represents the maxillary right third permanent molar we can also call it as the third molar only as well because in the permanent dentition you just have the third molars in the deciduous dentition you don't have the third molars you will count in a similar way for the maxillary left quadrant just the one thing which will change is the quadrant number we can see the first digit has changed now first digit has become as number two because we mentioned the maxillary left quadrant as the second quadrant so for the, per, uh, the permanent central incisor of the maxillary left quadrant we will write it as two one for the lateral incisor of the maxillary left quadrant we will write it as two two for the third tooth from in the maxillary left quadrant, we will write it as 2, 3. 2, as we all know, represents the quadrant number and 3 represents the permanent tooth from the midline, that is the canine. Then 2, 4 basically represents the fourth tooth from the midline is the first premolar, 2, 5. The second premolar, 2, 6. The first permanent molar, 2, 7. The second permanent molar and 28 represents the third molar of the maxillary left quadrant now when we go in a clockwise direction 
we will go towards the maxillary uh, from the maxillary left quadrant to the mandibular left quadrant and again we will start to count the teeth from the middle line just the first thing which will change is the quadrant number that's the first digit we can see there is a change in the first digit only the rest of the counting is still the same 3 1 represents mandibular left quadrant permanent central incisor 3 2 the first digit represents mandibular left quadrant permanent 2 represents the lateral incisor now going on to the third tooth from the midline we uh, count the mandibular canine permanent canine so we number it as 3 3 so 3 the first digit represents that it's the mandibular left quadrant and the second digit represents that it's the permanent canine so 3 3 3 4 means the first premolar 3 5 the second premolar 3 6 the first molar 3 7 represents the second molar and finally 3 8 so what do we see here in this case as well that we counted all of the quadrants in a clockwise direction as we did for the deciduous dentition so starting from the maxillary right quadrant which was quadrant number one maxillary left quadrant as quadrant number two mandibular left quadrant as quadrant number three and the last quadrant is the mandibular right quadrant which is the quadrant number four so again we numbered all the tooth from the midline distally so the first tooth from the midline in the mandibular left quadrant and the right quadrant is still the same just the first digit ch changed in it that was the first digit has now become as 4 rather than 3 so the first tooth in the mandibular right quadrant from the midline is the mandibular central incisor which we already know that is for the mandibular right quadrant we mentioned that as 4 1 4 2 for the lateral 4 3 for the canine 4 4 for the first premolar 4 5 for the second premolar 4 6 for the first molar of the mandibular right quadrant 4 7 for the second molar of the mandibular right quadrant and finally 4 8 for the third molar of the mandibular right quadrant remember one thing the first digit always in FDI notation system represents the quadrant number whereas the second digit basically is the tooth number for that respective quadrant which we started to count from the midline now let's go quickly through the diagrammatic representation to make all the illustrations much more clearer and easy to understand so what do we do here as we did for the deciduous dentition we make up four different quadrants starting from the maxillary left quadrant which will be numbered as number one after writing that quadrant number for each of the respective tooth we give a separate number as well that is a second digit so the first digit represents the quadrant number that is the maxillary right quadrant whereas the second digit is representing the tooth number from the midline so the first tooth from the midline is the central incisor so we mention that one one for the permanent maxillary right central incisor now one two represents that it's the tooth of the maxillary right quadrant and the digit number two is basically representing that it's the second tooth from the midline that is the lateral incisor so we write that as one two then going on to the third tooth from the midline for the maxillary right quadrant so for the maxillary right quadrant we write it as quadrant number one and its second digit basically represents the tooth number from the midline which we write it as three for the maxillary right canine and we mention it as one three now one four for the first premolar one five for the second premolar we will write one six for the first permanent molar because again as we have been discussing the first digit is representing the quadrant number that it is for the permanent dentition of the maxillary right quadrant and the second digit is basically representing that it's a sec six tooth from the midline that is the first molar where as we continue to count distally we number the des uh, the permanent second molar in the maxillary right quadrant as one seven and finally the last tooth in the maxillary right quadrant as one eight that is the third molar now 
counting d in the maxillary left quadrant we will first number the quadrant as number two because the right quadrant is numbered as number one the left quadrant is numbered as number two in the maxillary arch for the permanent dentition and after mentioning the quadrant number the second digit which we will represent is the tooth number as we have been discussing earlier so two one for the permanent central incisor of the maxillary left quadrant 2 2 for the lateral incisor 2 3 for the canine 2 4 for the first premolar 2 5 for the second premolar 2 6 for the first molar 2 7 for the second permanent molar and lastly 2 8 for the third molar of the maxillary left quadrant we count the teeth in the same way for the mandibular left quadrant as well that is First, we will mention the quadrant number. The mandible left quadrant is numbered as number 3. And we start to count the teeth from the midline towards the distal aspect. So, so after mentioning the quadrant number, the first tooth from the midline for the mandibular arch is the central incisor. So, the mandibular left quadrant is numbered as 3. And the first tooth from the midline will be numbered as 1. So we call it as 3-1 for the mandibular central incisor, 3-2 for the lateral, 3-3 for the canine of the mandibular left quadrant, 3-4 for the first premolar, 3-5 for the second premolar, 3-6 for the first permanent molar of the mandibular left quadrant, 3-7 for the second permanent molar of the mandibular left quadrant, and finally 3-8 for the third molar of the mandibular left quadrant. Going on to the last quadrant of permanent dentition, we mentioned the mandibular right quadrant as quadrant number four in the case of the permanent dentition after mentioning that we start to count the teeth from the midline as we have been discussing earlier so four means it's the mandibular right quadrant one means central incisor so four one for the mandibular central incisor four two for the lateral four three for the canine four four for the first premolar four five we mention it for the second premolar of the mandibular right quadrant four six for the first Permanent molar of the mandibular right quadrant, 4 7 for the second permanent molar of the mandibular right quadrant, and finally 4 8 for the third molar of the mandibular right quadrant. Now, let's go quickly through the video illustration for the permanent dentition that how do we count the teeth in the permanent dentition in the patients. So, first, what do we do? We start to count, we count the, all of the teeth in the clockwise direction for the quadrant. So the, uh, the maxillary right quadrant is numbered as number 1, left as 2, the lower left as number 3 and the lower right as number 4. So we are counting all the quadrants in a so-called clockwise direction starting from the maxillary right quadrant as we have been discussing earlier. So the maxillary right quadrant is numbered as quadrant number 1 as we discussed earlier. The maxillary left quadrant is numbered as number 2. The mandibular left quadrant as we discussed earlier is numbered as number 3 and the mandibular right quadrant is numbered as number 4. So always we will mention the first digit that is the quadrant number then we start to count the teeth from the midline. So after mentioning the first digit for the maxillary right quadrant, that is the quadrant number 1, we start to count the teeth from the midline. So the first tooth from the midline is the central incisor. So we will call it as 1 for the quadrant number and 1 for the central incisor. 1, 1 for the maxillary right central incisor. It's the first tooth from the midline. Then the second tooth from the midline is the lateral incisor. So we will call it as 1 for the quadrant number and as it's the second tooth from midline so we will call it as 1 2 now again 1 will be the first quadrant and 3 for the canine as it's the third tooth now we again mention as 1 for the maxillary right quadrant and counting the teeth from the midline for the canines we call it as 1 3 after mentioning as quadrant 1 Again, for the premolar counting from the midline, for the first premolar, it's the fourth tooth from the midline. So we will write it as 1, 4 to mention it is for the maxillary right quadrant. 
Now one five for the second premolar, one six for the first molar, one seven for second molar, and finally one eight for the third molar in the maxillary right quadrant. Now for the maxillary left quadrant, we mention it as quadrant number two. After mentioning the quadrant number two, we start to count the teeth from the midline. So central incisor will be mentioned as two, uh, two, one, because the two is the quadrant number as it's the second quadrant and it's the first tooth from the midline. So we mention the central as two one, two two for the lateral incisor, then two is basically the quadrant number as we discussed earlier and we count the teeth to the canine so we call it as 2 3 now going to the first premolar as same as we did on the left hand side it will be mentioned as 2 4 because it's the fourth tooth from the midline now for the second premolar we will mention as 2 5 because it's fifth tooth 2 6 for the first molar 2 7 for the second molar and finally 2 8 for the third molar Now when we go for the mandibular left quadrant, we start to count the teeth from the midline. So marking the mandibular left quadrant from the midline, we mark it as quadrant number 3. So mandibular central incisor will be marked as 3, 1 because the central incisor is the first tooth from the midline. Then 3, 2 for the lateral because it's the second tooth from the midline. 3 is the quadrant number 3 for the mandibular left canine because it's the third tooth from midline now for the first premolar as 3 4 for the second as 3 5 because it's the fifth tooth from the midline 3 6 for the first permanent molar 3 7 for the second permanent molar and 3 8 for the third molar in the mandibular left quadrant now for the right quadrant we mark it as quadrant number 4 so always we will mention the quadrant number first in the right quadrant as well and then we will mark the tooth number. So the central incisor in the mandibular right quadrant will be mentioned as 41, 42 for lateral, 43 for canine, 44 for the first premolar, 45 for the second premolar, 46 for the first molar, 47 for the second permanent molar and 48 for the third permanent molar. So this is how we calculate and count all of the teeth in the permanent dentition as well so that's all with the everyday annotation system